Well, we're here. It's the final week of the World Cup. What a journey it's been so far, man. You know what, this has been the, the World Cup for underdogs. The underdogs have come to the fore. The likes of Saudi Arabia beating Argentina. Morocco beating Spain. Morocco beating Portugal. What an achievement. What that's done for the African continent. I was with Didier Drogba um, at one of the games and he spoke how much this will do for the, the young African children across the continent, no matter where you're from, you don't have to be Moroccan. So I made a few calls, a few guys, I don't know, a few guys, who spoke to these guys, and here we are. I'm gonna try and get a bespoke made to measure one, because it made me feel too, I felt too important. <laughs> it's a beautiful feeling. So come in, my friend. I don't, I don't pick the wrong things. Watch when I come out, you're gonna go, oh my God. This is small. This one's a bit small. Come on, man. No, unbelievable. I love it. The guys, man, they're meant to be, I don't know where Steve, and Joel are, they're meant to be here to come in with me and I'm having to wait outside here for a little while to find them. I can't get hold of them, their phones ain't working, so I don't know what the hell's going on. And I need to, I need to go in there. That's where the magic's happening, man. I need to be a part of it. But these guys don't even seem to be like out of bed. I don't know what they're doing, man. Yo, bro, man. We don't bro. I don't like heights, I don't we like... Don't know, bro. Nah, you've got to take it easy, bro. Please. What, can they sense your fear? Yeah, you're in the shit if they can. Whoa! whoa. Oh my gosh! <laughs> uh, oh, whoa! This ain't time for battle, What's your camera called? I don't, bro, I don't know. What's, what's your camera called? Hopefully it's called safety. <laughs> because right now, I don't feel safe. Steve, is that your leg or the camel? <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh! Whoa, whoa. Come on. Okay, okay, we get it, 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 we get it. Sugar. No, oh man, no, seriously? Oh no, oh, my phone is dropping. Oh, bro. Oh, come on, man, just the ground, please. Just the ground. Why are you not bothered by this thing? Whoa! Fuck! 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 Uh, oh. Hey, bro. Joel. No, 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 my friend, 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 be careful, my friend. Whoa. Honestly. Whoa, 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 boss. I'm just impressed. No, 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 okay. I get it, I get it, I get it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Please. Seriously. You know what you're doing, don't you? How long have you been doing this? Two weeks. Two weeks, see, you've been doing it two weeks. Sorry, just get me back. I've had a dead good day, me. I just want to go home. No. Oh, Steve. We were supposed to meet Rhea. <laughs> that was it. What time was it? A long time ago. You know, I can't wait around. Let's just go inside. Let's get in there. Let's go. This is where the teams walk through. So when you see Argentina going into the, to the change room, this is where they would have gone. How are you doing? You good? I'm good, very good, man. I don't like to say that to you, but I support uh, in Premier League, Manchester City. You, you need to get in there, bro. No! <laughs> Hi, everyone. How are you doing, everyone? You good? This is where Messi, Messi was. 
think what the tactics were, get the ball to this guy. Just give him the ball, 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 give him the ball. Him the ball. Him the ball. That's it. It's amazing, huh? This is my first time to so play. This is where the players walk out for the final. Messi was here yesterday. We put on the, one of the best performances we've seen at the World Cup. And I've been sitting up there. The studio is there. And so I just see this part of the stadium. So it's like, it's kind of just surreal. So we'll be in a change room in there and it'll be like, we'll play two touches as a warm up. Like me and Cristiano Ronaldo, me and Paul Scholes, Nani, etc. yeah? So this was part of the warm up. So I want to see you guys get warmed up before you go on the pitch to battle. Yeah, one. Two, like that. One, two. There you go. Oh, oh, yeah. hey, oh. Save me. Go on, go, 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 go. Unlucky. Sorry, sorry, sorry. This is where all the press conferences are done. So this is what happens. So a player, all of the press will be behind them, that barrier there. And win or lose depends how you feel and how you talk to these guys. That's all the media. You have to go around this area here. These guys, look how many they've got to go. Look at that. This is now where the manager would go, and normally the captain or designated player would go to do like the main press conference. Bro, whoa, this is big, man. Yeah. What's made, there's a couple of things that stand out for me. The ability to watch four games a day, every game at the World Cup. No other World Cup has ever happened, and I don't see it ever happening again, which is unique to Qatar. I think with football has the power it can't change everything, but I think it can be influential and it could be used as a platform to help educate. And I think the most important thing to educate people. Thank you guys, we've got to go and prepare for the game. Thank you very much. Thank you. I'm just leaving the stadium now. I'm going to go home, I'm going to get changed, and I'm going to come back to the stadium because we're covering the game tonight. I'll be in the studio, I won't be pitch side, but I cannot wait to feel the energy, the vibes. Hello guys, welcome, come in. I told you I weren't joking, huh? I always, I always go, wherever I go, I try and immerse myself in the culture. Whenever I've been to other World Cups in Moscow, in the Red Square, engaging with the, the people, even in like, in parts of Africa, I always wear the local clothes just to kind of really engage, really get involved, man. The food, everything. Here in Qatar, in Doha, this is what you see. Right guys, that's it man. What a whirlwind of a month. The World Cup is over. I'm tired. I'm ready to go home now. But wow, so much to talk about. Obviously, the great players on the pitch. Without them, this doesn't happen. But you know what? It's about actually being out and about, man. It's about being in around the culture, being in the souks, smelling the food, tasting the food, the different rituals around and the respect around just making coffee, man, like, it's crazy. So, so all the culture, you know this is what I'm about. When I go places, I like to see, feel, hear, and it's been great here, man. And you know what, one of the standout things for me, I've said it before, but the fans actually being together and being happy and celebrating. Despair, loss, excitement, all together under one roof. None of this madness where we had real, sometimes you get fans going at each other from different parts of the world. This was a very unified World Cup in that sense. And that's one of the lasting legacies and memories for me that will be for this World Cup. And Argentina, you had the best fans. The best fans at the tournament, this was stand out easily, Argentina. We could have been in Buenos Aires. Listen, that's Rio Ferdinand, here at five, signing out. Thank you very much.